And welcome back to The Factor Uncensored. Well, I'm sure you have seen their commercials and their promos out there. Airline Financial, a bank, having tested a banking model without overdraft fees, is making it permanent. The move applies to all types of accounts, including checking and savings, and there are no requirements or restrictions. In April 2020, Ally began to waive overdraft fees, citing coronavirus pandemic hardships many customers face. On June 2nd, Ally said it's eliminating those fees for good. So the question is, will other financial institutions around this country follow suit? Mark Davenport joins us now to talk finances with us and this move by Ally Bank. Is this a good move? It's a great move, uh, Isaiah, on two fronts. Number one, it's great for the consumer. And when businesses make decisions that are great for the consumer, the business always wins. And so what this is going to do for Ally Bank, it's going to encourage a lot of underbank people, people who don't maintain a regular bank account, to realize that, you know what? I can come to Ally Bank, I can open an account, and I don't have to worry about getting hammered and getting hit with a $35, $45 return charge if I have something returned. So for all of the, the revenue this is was making for the bank, they will more than pick that up by the new deposits they're going to take in. And of course, they make their money off of the deposits, not just overdraft fees. Absolutely. Absolutely. So in the, in the banking industry, we often talk about a term called the multiplier effect. And that is, how many times can a bank loan out money that they receive? So if you have $100,000 in the bank, mm -hmm. think about how many times the bank is going to take that $100,000 and loan that out. So a bank could take something like that and turn that into an unbelievable investment. So banks use our cash to make money. And in exchange for that, ask yourself, what does the bank really give us outside of the security and safety of knowing where my money is? Right, right. You're exactly right. Do you think other banks are willing to follow suit? Obviously, you you know, many of the banks make their money through loans and mm -hmm. um uh, various fees associated with banking. Are they willing to give up those overdraft fees? You know, it depends on two things. I applaud Senator Liz Warren. Uh, she's been hammering the banking industry, more specifically the four largest banks in the country. I believe last year they probably earned uh, approximately $4 billion in overdraft fees from households or individuals who make less than $50,000 all the while receiving some protection and support from the federal government through the PPP program. So is it good for business? I believe it is for the same reasons I mentioned for Allied Bank. Will they do that? Well, that's going to depend on political pressure. But that's also going to depend on social pressure. You have a voice where you spend your money. Absolutely. Now, will this lead, however, to individuals being careless with their finances if they have no overdraft fee, uh, fees to pay, if they overdraft their account, will this lead to negligence in their part? Isaiah, I, I don't believe so. Um, and the, the reason why I don't believe so is because let's say your direct deposit is going to hit on a Friday and you have a check that you wrote and you're hoping that check won't clear until your deposit hits. Well, maybe the check cleared the day before, and so you got ding 35 bucks for the NSF, and the, your deposit hits the next day. So oftentimes, the NSF uh, or the deficits occur because people are playing the float game. Mm -hmm. They're trying to manage their cash flow. They're hoping that they can pay this bill, get credit for it, so the lights, et cetera, don't get cut off. In the meantime, figuring out how they're going to put this money into the account to cover that bill they just, they just paid. All right. Mark Davenport, thank you for joining us. We always appreciate your expertise and seeing you here on The Factor Uncensored.